Okay, um, I gotta make these really quick, but it's time for your week five NFL picks, and so, and it started with the Bears beating the Commanders, um, and it continued with, and, and it's looking like Jacksonville's gonna go ahead and beat the Buffalo Bills after all, it's looking like one of those bullshit weeks, anyway, Anyway, let's get started because I don't have time for this fucking bullshit. Uh, Ravens taking on the Steelers. Um, uh, Kenny Pickett's a little banged up. I don't know how effective he's going to be. So take the Ravens, I guess, to defeat the Steelers. But I bet, but the Ravens better not fuck me over just because I'm taking them to win. I don't know what the fuck their problems are, but whatever. Um, next up, Texans taking on the Falcons. The Falcons have gone back to reality a little bit, and uh, the Texans have surprised a lot of people, I guess. Um, uh, take the take the Texans to win, I guess. The Falcons have not impressed me as of late. Um, Panthers going on the road to take on the Detroit Lions. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Anyway, the Panthers are the Panthers are pathetic, but the Lions are with that without uh, Amon Ross St. Brown today. Their other wide receiver just got off suspension, and he hasn't practiced in mo- and he hasn't and he hasn't had full contact football in months. It's, oh God, so yes, the Lions are on upset alert. Go ahead and take the go ahead and take the Lions to defeat the Panthers though. Titans going on the road to take on the Indianapolis Colts. So it looks like the Titans are not Looks like the Titans are gonna cock tease people once again, which is really fucking annoying. Um the Colts are doing the same thing, by the way. Um take the Titans to win. Saints taking on the Patriots at, at Foxborough. This uh, se- uh, Patriots are are fucking bad. The se- and they got and they got banged and they're and they're also banged up. Take the Saints to defeat the Patriots, I guess. Giants going on the road to take on the Dolphins. Wow, the Dolphins got their asses kicked la- uh, by the uh, Buffalo Bills last week. Of course, this is the same Bills team that's losing to the Miami Dolphins. That's the, to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So. Currently, so take the Dol- take the Dolphins to win, I guess, but it's gonna because it's the Giants, but Giants really need this game. Um, Rams going on the road to take on the actually, I take that back. Rams traveling back home to take on the Eagles, and the Eagles and and the. Both teams got taken to overtime last week. The Commanders took the Eagles to overtime, but of course the Eagles ultimately won. And the Colts took the Rams to overtime. And ultimately the Rams won. Won. Oh, and the Colts didn't get the ball back in that game, so people are going to cry. Oh, they should have those 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 playoff rules? Those playoff overtime rules? They should be the, they should be the break of what she too. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit. Shit. Um... God damn it. Take the... Fuck. Take the Rams, I guess, but fucking hell, man. I do... You know what? Fuck, I'll, I'll take the Eagles. I know the Eagles haven't been impress- haven't been that impressive, but Rams haven't been impressive either. So yeah, take the Eagles to win. If this thing can fucking work properly. Uh, Bengals going on the road to take on the Arizona Cardinals. The Bengals have been the biggest disappointment so far in in 2023. Doesn't help that Joe Burrow got injured. No one's saying nobody's saying that 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 helps. But what the fuck? But, but uh, it, there's more to it than that. Their offense just hasn't been stepping up recently. And now they're going on the road to take on the Cardinals. 
Cardinals. Uh, I'm not. I don't know why the car. I don't know why fans want the Cardinals to tank just so they can get Caleb Williams. Uh, I don't fucking get it. Um, it's not like he's going to be that much better than Kyler Murray. Yeah. Right. But. Yeah, take the take the. But go ahead and take the Bengals. The Cardinals are just horrible. Well, I mean, they're not as horrible. I mean, even that even that blowout loss against the 49ers, they haven't been playing that bad. But yeah, take the Bengals, I guess. Um, Jets going on the road to take on the Broncos. Uh, the Jets were uh, the Jets were the Jets were this close to. Uh, to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, then ref then ref ball took over and yeah, and ref ball took over both sides really. So let's just so let's not put let's not bullshit people and say that it just favored the Kansas City Chiefs. As far as the Broncos go, they finally they finally get a victory over the Chicago Bears. Look, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take the Jets uh, playing hard against the Chiefs. At, I'm just gonna chalk that one up to uh, the Chiefs having a target on their back. Back when it when when the Chief, when when you're the Super Bowl champion, expect every team to play tough. That's just kind of how shit works. And the Broncos are going to be debuting their 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 new snow cap helmets. The the white helmets with their ugly ugly disgusting color rush uniforms so they now look like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of the 70s the knees take the broncos to win i guess chiefs going on the road to take on the Minnesota Vikings I know I gotta take the Chiefs. I know the Vikings won last week, but and I've seen stranger th- things. And like I said, this could be one of those bullshit weeks. But go ahead and take the Chiefs to win. All right, Sunday night football: Cowboys taking on the 49ers at Levi's Stadium. Last time these two teams met was the playoffs, and we all know how that ended. Um, <laughs> especially the final play. Um, but it was a, but it was. But most would argue it was over before that final play. I mean, come on. At least most people with common sense. Which is a rare species these days. Um, go ahead and take the 49ers to defeat the Cowboys again. And the Cow- the 40, As good as the Cowboys are, and yes, the Cowboys have gotten a little bit better, over, be- better especially this year, this, especially this past offseason, but the, 49, the 49ers are still are still a good football team. And last I checked they defeat and last I checked they just picked up uh, Randy Gregory in a trade from the Broncos. So he'll so he'll definitely fit the uh the and he'll definitely fit the 4-3 scheme. So it is what it is there. But yeah, take the 49ers to win. And last up, Packers going on the road to take on the Las Vegas Raiders. Expect this pick to be changed. I know I shouldn't do that, but fuck it. Uh, t- take the Packers to, but for now, take the Green Bay Packers to defeat the Raiders. Raiders. I know the rat, and the and this and the reason why I'm I'm contemplating changing this pick is because the Packers' offensive line is banged up as fuck. But the re, but the main reason why I'm picking the Ra- the Packers to defeat the Raiders is be- is strictly because of coaching. Look, Matt Lafleur has. Has been dis- has been very disappointing so far this season, which doesn't. Uh, although he hasn't, he hasn't been. Let me let me rephrase that. He hasn't been. He hasn't necessarily been coaching well this season. Surprise, surprise. But Josh McDaniels is bad. Holy crap, crap! I still can't believe that. <laughs> I know I'm harping on this because it's utterly fucking ridiculous, but. I can't believe that that the Broncos are 0 three against the Raiders, against the Josh McDaniels Raiders. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ! 
yes, the Bron- it just yes, it speaks volumes on how bad the Broncos are, but it is what it is. All right, games are starting. I gotta go. Till next time, later, fuckers.